got another uh, laptop to show you guys. Um, you guys may remember that I picked up that uh, Dell Core i7 system about a week ago. Well, the same gentleman that I picked that up from, uh, a couple days later, he uh, told me about another system that he had. Um, that it was working, but he didn't have the drivers for it. So I asked him, could he bring it over to the house, and he did. Uh, we took a look at it. Uh, we agreed on a price, and I purchased it from him. And that's this little beauty right here. This is another Dell. Yes, it is a Dell. We can start on the bottom here. It's an Inspiron N4030. So I believe this is either a 13 or a 14 inch monitor uh, screen on here. Uh, there's the uh, specs on it. Uh, registration number is P07G003. Again, you guys can pause the video if you want to read some more about this. Um, this is a Intel based computer. Uh, running Windows 7. Go over some of the ports here. I'm actually going to unplug this just for a minute. You can see it's got a really nice textured top on it. Um, originally I thought this was one of those tops that was uh, removable where you could change the styles out. But then I realized it's not. It's actually uh, glued on there it looks like. So there are probably a few different options. Like this is the black one. I think I remember back when this, this was made around 2012. Um, back you could get this style, you could get like a pink color, red, it came in all different colors. On the front here you have your normal uh, lights, you have your power light there, hard drive and battery. Uh, that is the one problem with this computer, the battery is no good, it won't hold it at any charge at all for the most part, but I do have one of those on order, I picked it up on eBay um, for I think about 12 bucks. You have your SD uh, MMC slot right there. Speakers that come out the bottom because what they're doing when you have it down like this, they're face down and the sound bounces off of you or the table depending on what angle you're at. And it's supposed to give you a little more bass. Uh, this is where the hard drive goes. I actually had to put two um, aftermarket screws. Whoever had this before upgraded the hard drive. I think it originally had a 160 and now it's a 250 but they neglected to put the two screws to hold it in place back. Here we have a uh, headphone, microphone, two USB 2.0 ports, and VGA out. Nothing on the back of this, just a vent right here. And then this is the actual battery, which I still have in there, but again, it is pretty much dead. On this side you have your AC input one more USB port and an Ethernet port there and last but not least is your dual layer DVD burner so again not not a full featured laptop but definitely more than enough for most people go ahead and plug it in and open the top the hinges are really nice matter of fact I have to use two hands to open it they're still so tight um, a moderate amount of wear on the keyboard, nothing major, just a little shiny because this time, this era they really didn't do do the paint very well on here so it kind of wears off quickly and that's when you get that kind of shiny surface. It's actually like a textured paint and that definitely wears off. Uh, nice big trackpad, I really like this. I, the older laptops, you're probably lucky to get about half that amount. So let's go ahead and turn it on. It does boot up just fine. It is running Windows 7. And that flickering you're seeing is actually just the camera. The screen is not doing that. Let me see if turning this light off helps. There we go. Well, helped a little bit. She, she boots up fairly quickly, uh, running Windows 7 Home Premium, and yes, that's what came on originally. This is one of the later Windows 7 systems, probably one of the last few made, just like that other Dell I have. And I am very glad for that because I am not a big fan of Windows 8 by any means.
takes just a minute. And while that's booting up, I'll show you guys. It also does have a webcam. I have not tried the webcam out, but I'm, I'm sure it works fine. I know the driver installed properly. Um, and of course, those are always good if you need, uh, if you like me and like to Skype once in a while. Oh, and here we go. Got the typical programs installed on there. Got Google Chrome, uh, Firefox, Image Burn for antivirus, anti spyware. I have uh, Avast and spyware search and destroy, spybot search and destroy. They actually just came out with a new version. This is version 2, and I heard they came out with a version 3. But with this kind of stuff, I usually like to wait a couple of months until they've kind of ironed out all the bugs. Let's see if it's booted up enough. We can go take a look at uh, properties. I always love this background. This is the uh, Windows Aero uh, background, the landscape one. All right, and as you can see, it's an Intel Pentium uh, P6200, so it is a dual core running at 2.13 gigahertz. Has six gigabytes of RAM with uh, 5.8 usable, because of course it uses some for the Intel graphics. Um, I think it does have a system rating. It's probably still booting up. Speaking of the graphics, again, nothing super spectacular, but. For most people, it's more than enough. It has the Intel HD graphics. Oh, and by the way, it's a 1366 by 768 screen. So this is a 720p HD screen, not a 1080p. Probably would be a little too small to make it 1080p. The the everything would be the characters just be way too small. There we go. It's Intel HD graphics. And there's your information. It's got uh, 1,696 total graphics memory. It's a 64 dedicated, and then of course it shares the 1.6 gig, but it doesn't use that all the time. It only uses that as needed. We can close out of that. I guess I never did the system rating. We'll go ahead and uh, do that real quick, and I'll show you what that is uh, once it's completed. All right, as you can see, the uh, it's still analyzing the disk performance, but it's almost uh, d done compiling the Windows Experience Index. I want to show you what it does with the battery. Um, if you go down here, it says 8% available, plugged in, not charging. It'll try and charge it maybe once every couple of minutes. It'll charge it like a half a percent and then just stop. So obviously the battery is not able to hold any... Um, foreseeable charge. If I unplug it, it will stay on for a few seconds, but then it'll just cut off. And like I said, with these computers, the batteries are so cheap nowadays, you might as well just get a new one. You're better off buying a, a remade Chinese battery on, online like I did than trying to get it uh, record or something like that. This last part is usually the longest where it has to analyze the disk performance. It's funny, I thought I had actually did that before. Well, that's finishing up, let me talk to you guys about what I plan to do with this laptop. Um, unfortunately, I really don't need it, so I'm probably just going to wind up flipping it. Uh, if you guys are interested, you can let me know. I'm, I'm going to sell it for $250 or best offer. Um, you guys can just give me, send me a PM or um, send me a PM would be the best or just let me know in the description that you're interested. And it looks like the experience index is complete. It got a 4.2, processor is a 5.8, uh, looks like the memory is the highest at 7.1 because I think this is DDR3. The bottleneck on here would be the graphics for the area at 4.2. I'm actually really surprised that the gaming graphics got a 5.1. That means this is probably be a decent gaming system even though it is only uh, Intel graphics. And, of course, the hard drive got a 5.7, which is typical. Unless you have an SD or an SSD, you're never going to get more than a 5.7, maybe a 5.9 on the hard drive index. So, this was a quick review of my Dell Inspiron N4030 laptop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a blessed day.